Alright, let's be honest. How many of you guys are enjoying all the noobs that are on Battlefield 3 now? Uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, they brought the price of Battlefield 3 down to, I think, $5 up until the 19th of June. So if for whatever reason you don't own Battlefield 3 on PC and you, uh, you're you looking to get it, it's on sale for 5 bucks. I think you can actually get premium for 15 So it actually costs more to get premium than it does to get the actual game, but... You know, premium, premium. you get a lot in premium. I mean, what is that? Like five expansion packs. So it's a pretty good deal, I guess. If you're going to get it, you can get the whole uh, shebang for, what, 20 bucks. So pretty pretty solid deal, I think, uh, considering that you get four DLCs, uh, five if you include Carcan. But uh, there's been a lot of noobs. I mean, with that price coming down, that means more people are willing to try it, which means there's more new players in the actual game. Uh, but on the flip side, you actually get a lot of hackers coming back to the game. And... Uh, you know, I didn't see a ton of it. I, I did see a couple names that I was like, okay, this guy was definitely banned for hacking at one point, and then he bought a $5 account to continue his reign of terror. Uh, but fortunately, that doesn't seem to be a huge problem. I would say that hacking on Battlefield 3 has been pretty much swept aside. I don't, I don't really experience a ton of problems in that department anymore, and I got really lucky right there. But um, yeah, tons of noobs, tons and tons of noobs. So if you still don't own Battlefield 3, yet you're watching this Battlefield 3 video, I'd highly suggest it. It's a pretty good game. Uh, but we are using the M27 IAR today, and we're going to be talking about LMGs. Because uh, last night when I was playing this, I just hopped into this random TDM server. Uh, just wanted to get in there and get some kills, because I hadn't really played in a while. I've been busy for the past, uh, for the weekend, basically, so I didn't get a, a ton of time to play. So I sat aside some time, and I just didn't really feel like doing anything but killing people. Uh, and that's what TDM's good for, and I like Sing Crossing for that, because I feel like, I feel like, you know, it's a solid map. You can move around a lot. Uh, sometimes it does get a little choke point oriented, which you'll see towards the end, where I'm basically, it's me versus the entire team coming towards me. Uh, but luckily, I've got an LMG with a lot of ammo, and that's what LMGs do well. Locking down an area, plenty of ammo at your disposal. I mean, granted, the magazine-fed LMGs like the M27 aren't as effective in that, in that strategy as, let's say, an M60 or an M249. Uh, but they still do a pretty decent job. I'd say LM LMGs across the board, the idea behind them is lots of ammo in your magazine, yet they're not as accurate. Uh, but that got me to thinking, you know, there's been a lot of talk about Battlefield 4 and how the LMGs are going to be better, um, the LMGs are going to be more balanced, because let's face it, in Battlefield 3, the LMGs can be very hit or miss. I mean, they're really frustrating to use. Once you finally do understand how to use them and how to uh, play effectively with them, they can be really powerful, but I would say if you compared them to like the engineer weapons and the assault weapons, you would probably think that the LMGs are severely underpowered. Now, I know there's a ton of people out there that are probably bipod haters. For whatever reason in the world, there's a lot of people who dislike the bipod. Um, but the bipod, I think if you remove that from the equation and look at LMGs as a whole, you'll see that, you know, they're not as good as the assault rifles. They're not as good as the engineer weapons. And I think that's a that's a big problem because when you're looking at an LMG, the LMG is supposed to be a weapon that is for holding down areas, and it does that well with a bipod. Uh, but by making them not as strong as like as the assault rifles, what you basically get is a polarization. You get a lot of people who aren't willing to play with the LMGs, thus you're not having a lot of support players out there giving you ammo. And more people are playing Medic. I mean, let's face it, Medic's the, the best class in the game. It, it's easily the best class in Battlefield 3 because it's versatile. You can pretty much do anything that any other weapon can do, uh, especially with like the M16. I mean, you've got AEKs, which have fi high fire rates, so uh, Assault is very versatile. I mean, it's got the med pack, probably the most powerful tool in the game, because uh, who doesn't want to heal up? I mean, if you're going into battle with 50% health, you're probably going to be at a severe disadvantage. So I think one of the problems with LMGs in the game is they're just so inaccurate. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty big issue, I think, for a lot of people because they can't play aggressive. They can't move around a lot. They really have to rely on their bipod if they want to be super, super accurate. And I was thinking about this last night when I was playing this game. I was actually talking to my buddy Mantis, and I was like, you know, I've heard that in Battlefield 4, the LMGs are actually a lot better. They've actually gone a step further to make them powerful. But then I started thinking about it as how do you actually balance LMGs in a Battlefield game? I mean, if you make them too accurate, then you're going to get a, basically an assault rifle with a 200 round extended mags. Uh, if you make them super inaccurate like they are in Battlefield 3, they're just really frustrating. So we've got to be able to find the middle ground. And one thing I was thinking as a potential fix for the LMGs is make them so that they're more accurate when firing still, when you're not moving. 
but then as soon as you start moving, make their accuracy just go out the window. Because I would say that's my biggest qualm. When I'm using a PKP, sometimes I, I don't even know where my bullets are going because it's just a random bullet devi deviation. Uh, you know, if you if you get suppressed with a PKP from anywhere more than 50 meters and you're not bipoded down, good luck trying to hit anything because it's going to be pretty difficult. I mean, that's just the nature of the LMGs. The aim fire accuracy on the LMGs are really, really low. So, you know, inherently you wouldn't want to just buff that because uh, if you buff that too much, like I said, all you get is an assault rifle with a lot of rounds. You got to give it some strengths and weaknesses. And I think one of the big advantages I, that LMGs are going to have in Battlefield 4 is that they're going to be one of the few weapons that actually put out a lot of suppression. I mean, that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to suppress the enemy. I mean, if you ever hear like suppressing fire, most likely it's some dude, marine guy on an M249 just laying down covering fire. Uh, in some random movie. I mean, if you ever watch military movies, typically that's what they're doing with LMGs. They're basically suppressing the enemy so that they can't poke their heads out. And in turn, the uh, the marksmen, you know, the people with the DMRs, the people with the assault rifles, pick them off as they're they're kind of caught off guard by this. So in my mind, the best fix for LMGs is make them more accurate when standing still. When you're not moving, aiming down sights, don't make them as inaccurate as this is in Battlefield 3. Because like the M60, I think the aim down fire accuracy is like 0.6 or something ridiculous. Whereas like an M16 with heavy barrel can have like an aim down sight accuracy of like 0.2. So it's really difficult to hit people sometimes with some of these belt fed LMGs. Even some of the magazine fed LMGs. You feel like you're just not shooting anything. Sometimes you'll just be right on target and all your bullets are just going around them. And that's part of the, the bullet deviation. And that, that's a big issue. So I'd like to see that balance out a little bit more. Because I would love to see more people using these LMGs in Battlefield 4. I think the LMGs are a fun class. And I want people to give me ammo, man. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. What do you think is the best way to make LMGs balanced yet more effective? You know, so that they actually have a better role in the game. Or do you think they're fine? I mean, there's probably people out there that are like, oh, you know, the LMGs are fine. They're super OP. So let me know in the comments if you missed any of my past videos. Here's a chance to catch up. I did a game tempo video where I kind of talked about the pacing of Battlefield 4 and my expectations. And before that, I actually did a video on the consoles, the new next-gen consoles, the Xbox One and the PS4. So check either of those out, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.